While the NVIDIA RTX 5000 series isn't official yet, there's a whirlwind of info swirling around. Let's break it down. The 5000 series specs could be a departure from the norm. Leaks suggest new transistor tech from TSMC at 3 nanometers. Expect a triplet design, perhaps a nod to AMD's RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 GPUs for high-end SKUs. A new streaming multiprocessor structure and denoising accelerator could reshape the 5000 series ray tracing pipeline for better performance. Predictions for the flagship RTX 5090 hint at around 33,000 shading units versus RTX 4090 16,384, 964 tensor cores, 412 RT cores, 1024 TMOS, and 256 ROPs. That's up to 23x more power. Rumors swirl around a 5 8th gen PCIe interface, potentially clocking base speeds over 3.2 GHz and boost clocks of 3.7 GHz, leaving RTX 4090's 2.5 GHz behind. GDDR7 memory might mean up to 100% performance gains, reaching speeds of 36 GB per S for the highest end GPUs. Expect wider memory buses, doubling bandwidth to 2.3 GB per S. And about memory. The 5000 series might wave goodbye to 8 GB mid-range GPUs with 32 to 40 GB for flagship cards. But what about gaming? The 5000 series could mean 8K gaming as Nvidia aims for 20 to 30% performance boosts per generation. Reports suggest 2, 2.6x better performance compared to ADA GPUs. Keep an eye on power consumption. Processing power could hit 210 plus teraflops for flagships likely demanding 650-900W. This power means bulkier heat sinks, possibly requiring four, five slots. Cards could weigh three, 3.5 kilograms, up from 2.4 kilograms. Anticipate a Q1 2025 release, with prices ranging from $1,699 to potentially $2,000 for flagships. NVIDIA is determined to stay ahead. Stay tuned for more info. Like and subscribe for updates.